Hey guys, so, um, I tried playing Shadow of Chernobyl, but I just kept crashing. I even uninstalled the Zone Reclamation Project and the HD gun texture mod that I had. I uninstalled those and reinstalled the game, but then 20 minutes into playing I had this same crash where my graphics card stops and my monitors aren't getting signal from my computer anymore. So I've just accepted that I just can't play that game on my computer. So I'm just going to come back to the good old Call of Pripyat and I'm going to start my new challenge which is Playing it on Master Difficulty with one life. Which of course, you know, if you just if you just know how to like speed run the game, I'm sure it's not that hard, but I'm not like I'm doing this for fun, so I'm not gonna look up speedrun strats. I wanna learn stuff myself. And I wanna get better every time and all that, you know. I just I like the idea of uh, you know learning more and more and just feeling tactical you know <laughs> like finding out new strats like one strat I know of or that I have is uh <laughs> one time um there was a uh, an omission and I was right next to that big mercenary like the mercenary outposts with all the guys in there let me just check my map so I can show you what I'm talking about yeah one time down here in uh, waste processing station there was an omission going on and I was like over here and I was like, huh. So I used that opportunity to run over here. All the guys in there were like huddled right in the middle on the middle level. So I just tossed a grenade up the stairs and killed like most of them. There was like a couple shagglers that, like three or four, that I just shot, but it's a really great strat. The only problem is uh, if you're doing it on one life, it's probably safer to do the gunslinger uh, add-on side quest where you get the suit. That'd probably be safer. I've never done that though. I just went and killed them all. Oh. Why does this always happen to me? Let's see where the nearest cover is. Shit. <laughs> Am I going the right way? Kinda, yeah. Oh fuck. Well, this isn't a great start. That's what you gotta deal with sometimes. Also, it's not the first time this has happened to me. Getting a mission right when you start a new game. Kinda sucks, huh? But I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. Let's see if we can even get to cover before I die. This might be our, like an embarrassingly short run. No, I'm not even sure where I'm going. Oh, maybe I think there's like a tunnel under this road. Is that what I'm looking for here? Oh yeah, yeah, here it is. Oh. Um. 
Here's a crazy idea. Is there like a... I don't think there is a wait button. Like in Skyrim. Well, I guess I might as well check out the helicopter while I'm here. Right? I would go try the Bloodsucker mission. Just to like get that over with. But I don't have a shotgun yet. I'm not gonna do that without at least a shotgun. And I don't even want to think about when you have to kill two bloodsuckers at once. Like when you deliver the gas canister to the radio complex to wipe out the bloodsucker layer. The first time I did that, there was like a group of stalkers that just happened to be walking by. And that kind of like saved me, I guess you could say. I'll definitely try to save stuff like that until like if hopefully I could get like an exoskeleton. That would definitely help quite a bit. I need to change my keybind real quick. I'm looking for the letter P. Here it is. There we go. Just I just got used to that from, uh, sh that's how I had it set up in Shadow of Chernobyl. Very nice. We're out of here. By the way, if you didn't know, um, when an omission happens, you'll get a mission to wait and cover, and it'll show you on your map where the nearest cover is. Since I don't have any... Oh my god, I'm so radiated right here. Jesus Christ. My suit wasn't even beeping. Is that an omission thing? I feel like I should use a health pack. I don't know, I just... Wasn't feeling very safe. Okay, so I think I read somewhere that the best way to get to that helicopter is like from the back. I would definitely concur with that. Uh, actually, since we have so little weight, I might as well go grab the stash while I'm here. Instead of waiting to clear out the bloodsucker. Didn't see any guns, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping for one. Is this what I think it is? No. <laughs> it's not. Is this? Oh, yeah. Nice. That's good to know. So you can survive in a mission with that. I have used that one time. To uh, save myself, I was like, I was over here, wait no, not there, I was over here, I was over here doing the little quest where you clear out the bandits, and that thing totally saved my ass because I don't think there's any cover there whatsoever. At least I couldn't find any. To be fair, at the time, I don't think I knew about the whole, like, nearest covers on your minimap thing. I didn't really know about that back then. I think I figured that out when, uh, one time when I started a new game and I got in a mission in like um, within the, a minute or something. I think that's when I figured that out. This does seem a lot like a lot friendlier of a, of a route going around back. That's cool. 
I've never gone and like examined the hello oh, the, electronics the, hello, inside. the helicopters before the going to the main melting. base. This is a new one for me. Wonder what's going on. Uh could be is that a corpse? It looks like a dead bandit. This could be a good opportunity to get some loot. On the other hand, don't really want to go through there. Let's see if we, let's go around. I wonder what's like over there. I've probably just like a what was that? I think my my mouse is getting old. Maybe. Might be, might be like a little double click issue there. Possibly. And here's another pro tip. You can hold down F or whatever your loot key is. And when you see that circle in the middle that means that any loot will show up like a text. You'll see text above loot. So, you know, you can uh, just see things easier. Also, if you hover your mouse over that while holding it down, it'll just suck up all the loot like a vacuum. Where's that little camp I was just looking at? Oh, there it is. I gotta say, I love running around. I might have to start going like more low weight. Like low weight strats. Now let's see. Maybe that wasn't a corpse. Dang. This guy just has a PP bison. Hey. Okay, weirdo. Can I don't you just... feel like chatting with you. What the fuck? Well, that was weird. Okay, so we kind of got uh, off track by that emission, but usually the first thing I try to do in a run is. Uh, come here. Actually, I'm on the wrong side. Yeah, I just try to come here first. I try to aggro like all the zombies. And then when they're like trying to kill me, I go up into the attic and then when they're trying to kill me, Okay, fuck it. Let's just go. Excuse me. Please don't one shot me. So yeah, I just come up into here. And, uh... Oh. Try to, like, get some pretty covered if possible. And then, look, you have grenades, and we will be using those very tactically. It kind of bothers me that the mutants and the zombies aren't, like, killing each other. But yeah, look, we get tools for basic work if we come here first. And it's right by where you spawn, so this is usually my first stop. And you get those grenades, so once all the zombies walk towards us and they kind of like gather under us, we're just going to throw some nades down. Are they here? Oh, yes. Oh my god, how'd you get me through there?
That sounded like two explode. What the hell is happening? What was that? I guess there were explosive tanks in there that I just didn't know about. Oh, oh, oh something weird's going on. Hold on, all my keybinds are different now. I don't think you have a quick melee button in in the other one, do you? Oh shit! Uh, oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. Is there not like a like a crouch more button? <laughs> oh, it's alt. Okay, good to know. Wish I wouldn't have wasted my grenade. See, and just like that, we we got a ton of free loot. Now the scary part is jumping down. I guess it'd be better to jump down over here, because there might be some dudes left alive in here. Hurt? What is? Why? Why am I dizzy? What was that? I guess your vision goes out of focus when you reload. I don't know how I've never noticed that. <laughs> but yeah, look. We got all this loot to start out with, you know? What the hell? This guy had tools for basic... Oh, that's me. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Because in Shadow of Chernobyl, you're on the left. This uses 9x18s. That's got to be better than that pistol. So we're just going to take literally everything until we can't walk anymore. You can see guns on the ground and stuff when you hold down the loot button. Look how many of them there were. It's really a, an, an amazing loot spot. Like I had a grenade launcher. Okay, so we're just gonna... We're just gonna drop anything low, dura, low durability. after we unload it all. That's wild that we got a grenade launcher. Unfortunately, the ammo it takes, we don't, I don't think we have any. I'll keep this shotgun, I guess. Oh, oh, I just remembered something else. There's a sunrise bodysuit at the gas station. I might go pick that up. So yeah, let's just, uh, is it G to drop? Just double clicking. No. Oh, it is G, but I, I guess, but you drop the thing in your hand. How do you? Oh, right, right, you gotta right click drop. Um, just trying to figure out which gun I want to use 74M or 74U. I'm not seeing necessarily like the biggest difference in the world.
Seems like this has more damage. Guess I'll just use this. I think this will be too hurt, too, uh, it's too disrepaired to sell it, but we can use it for cheaper repair, I guess. This might be sellable, it's kind of towing the line. That's a pretty good pistol. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I got I just gotta get used to this game. I don't think the MP5 is as busted in this game as it is in uh, Chernobyl. I'm just gonna drop this. It looks it's like in disrepair. Okay. Now we can continue with our loot our loot sesh. Ooh, ooh, this is a really good one. I'm gonna use this as my gun, I think. Oh, and um I'm gonna use this as my off my off gun. I'd love to find one with more durability, of course. Hey, here's another positive thing about this game. When you do a new game, you don't have to sit there and like listen to a monologue that takes like a minute. You can just get right into it. I don't think Chernobyl had water either. That's an, another difference. Oh, hey. This is a grenade for my grenade launcher. I don't... Maybe the grenade launcher would be decent against blood suckers? Although, to be fair, I haven't actually... I don't really know how it shoots, you know? Oh hey, this is exactly what I wanted. You can just put your guns on corpses too. It's a little bit, it's a little bit more convenient than having to throw them on the ground. Like slightly more convenient. Oh my god, you can only go 10 over in this game. Okay, well, I don't need this. Um, should get rid of this, both of them. I don't really need that, that'll be Probably what I throw away next. But yeah, you can see how this is a good place to start. <laughs> it's almost like they plan that, like having this be right near where you start, having the stash of grenades. Well, gotta get rid of something else. Guess I'll get rid of this. I should probably stop picking up ammo too. And like food. I think I finally got everyone. Nice. Oh wait, not this guy. Uh, maybe not these guys either. 
No, I did. Okay. And there was that guy that I killed over here. Somewhere. Wasn't there? Is this his corpse? It's like hiding. How much does this weigh? Yeah, I can take it. Now we're just so, like, so very set. So, what should we do next? Hmm. Kind of debating whether I should go to Skadovsk first, or if I should just make around, make around the whole place. I could hit up the Stingray. I could hit up the fueling station to get a fully repaired sunrise suit, which would be huge because with that I can then explore anomalies safely. I think I will do that. Well, I don't know. It would be good to sell all my stuff too. Uh, I think I'll go to the boat first or right here. Oh hey. My personal box is marked on the map. Didn't even know. Are you okay? I do find it kind of annoying how you can't take armor from people on the ground. Just, I don't know, just why not? You know, I'm kind of curious, do you normally have a user interface in this game? Is that like a, a master mode thing? Like master difficulty thing where you don't have a UI? I'm just asking because it'd be nice if I could see like my sprint meter and stuff. Put your weapon away, man. You know what? We're really close to... See this hole in the ground? There's like a cave with a controller in it. Um, that would be a great thing to use this on. No, not that. This. The grenade launcher. But I only have one. You need two grenades to kill them and... There, there's not really like a good corner to abuse to like peek out and shoot him. It's kind of like he's in the bottom of a funnel. Is this it? Maybe I can just show you. It's like there's no corner to peek behind. Maybe this wall right here. Possibly. I kind of want to try... It's a really stupid idea though. Um, ugh, I don't even have a grenade. Oh wait, I do have one grenade. All right, fuck it. Leave here. Is he in there? Like, I don't see him. I don't want to lose my whole run. Go! Get out of here while you can! Fuck you.
Okay, that was pretty clean. That was pretty clean. I'm happy with that. It's kind of creepy that the controller was talking to me. Oh, I look, Hercules. Hmm. 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 I'm considering just taking the Hercules. I can, well, I can still move. Good sign. I guess I don't need to take the Hercules. Cool. Um, let's go ahead and drink. Get rid of some weight. Let's go ahead and eat. And let's get a real gun back on our bar. In Shadow of Chernobyl, you you have to have one pistol and one real gun. But in this game, you can have two real guns. That's nice. Yeah, but <laughs> I didn't even know about this hole until uh, I had just started a new game and I was like, over at the uh, the sawmill, trying to do my thing over there, and then a mission hit, and the map told me this was the closest to mission point. It, the map didn't tell me there was a controller in it, and like, so basically I was in this high pressure situation where I had to kill him, like with grenades or something, and I had very little time to do it because the mission was about to hit. I had like spent most of the time walking over there while the mission was like ramping up so I had like a minute to kill him and Ugh, he was just destroying me luckily I did have grenades so I think it was like right after I did the sawmill and luckily I just didn't luckily I didn't use all my grenades when I was doing the sawmill you know. Did my weapons not out? Hey, bro. So, yeah. So, did you find anything out about Magpie? I've asked everywhere, right, but it's useless. You wanted are suffering Nobody from radiation sickness. Black is a poker guy. So the first Stop thing I'm gonna do. Sanity bitch is going to regret running away. Oh, thank God I can still talk to him from here. Hang in there, buddy. I'm gonna you sell some medical stuff. I definitely don't need 17. You might as well use this time to rest up and chill. Hey, stalker, come here. I got a question for you. Okay. Honestly, I'm gonna sell some more. Just helps you with weight. Keep, you know. Goodbye. Cause I'll definitely get a lot more. If I see Magpie, I'll let you know. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about hunting. Okay. Bye. You know what's something weird is like this guy always disappears from my world for some reason. And I have no idea why that happens. So you got the Got a job for me? Tell me about the mercenary camp, I agree. That's the quest where if you can get in there when the uh <laughs> If you can get in there when the uh emission's going on, you can just throw one nade right into all of them. Hopefully I'll be that lucky again. Got a job for me? I'm actually really worried about, like, 
what are those guys called? The the guys in the tr like the weird dwarfs in the trench coats that throw stuff at you. Those guys are brutal. Honestly, I think their best strat with them, if you can, is just to run right by them, which works sometimes. Got a job for me. I need info. I don't need info. I'm gonna sell this thing. To be fair, it was really good against controllers. Maybe I should just save it. Eh, I should probably just find like an AK with a grenade launcher on it or something. Oh, well, I can sell all my pistols. How nice. Um, which one of these is the good one? I think bear is the good one. Just sell my torch. Um, I could sell ammo. I'm not particularly ammo rich, though, at the moment. Anyway, sell that off. I think we're good here. Okay. Crap, what key? What key is, uh... I can't remember what the key is for the, uh, detector. Oh, backup sites. Interesting. Okay, under barrel grenade launcher is V. Good to know. Laser sight is slash. Flashlight is 8. Open. De detectors O. Okay. Good to know. Help. Got any work for me? Here, I brought. Wait, let's ask for work first. He'll tell me I need tools, then maybe he'll pay us. You know what I mean? I'm big brain. Can't just give him tools. Got some booze, want a shot? Here's to a steady hand. You done, bro? Okay. Let's see. How much does this cost to repair? All my money? Nah, I'll just go get the free one. Oops. How much is this to repair? Um, yeah, I'll do it. I'd also like some stuff. If I can. Uh, how much is this gonna... Oh my god. Is it worth it, really? Is it really worth it? Honestly, I'm not gonna repair it. And I'm not gonna upgrade it. I think I'll just wait for... Find a better one. I will upgrade this, though. Because I'm gonna be using this for a while. Maybe I can repair this. Yeah, that's pretty cheap. I think I'll run these two weapons for now. And maybe I'll just stash that one, help, and uh, I can use it to repair another one if I find it. Probably stash this, save it to repair my bodysuit when I go get it. Let's take the weight off. Yeah, weight. Weight's a great one to get. Uh. 25% recoil. That's huge. I'll get rails. Um, I'll get a cheap reliability upgrade. Now let's see what I can get. Optical scope mount. 
And that's it. Okay, well, we did what we could. See you. Let's go stash some things. Um, not gonna be using this for now. So, yeah. I'm not gonna be using this. Is this 45? Yeah, not gonna be using that. This. This. <laughs> I will be using that. Okay, put that up. Um, I can also put food. I'll, I'll sell the food. You always have Welcome way more food than you need. Got a job for me. The dredge station, okay. The, the, oh god, the dredge station is a scary, scary quest. Honestly. I'm gonna go get the body armor first. Let's be smart about this. Tell me what life is like here. Oh, oh, hey. Got some news, there's a controller. Yes, I killed it. Yeah. Damn, 6k? That, oh, okay. Well, damn, I'm glad I did that. Now, uh... Now I can go buy some more gun upgrades. So this game's different than Chernobyl. In Chernobyl, the cans weigh the most, sausages are second, and then food is last. But in this game, uh, bread is the second most instead of the lightest. And the can, instead of being the heaviest, it's the lightest. The can is good. The hunger elimination is what we're really looking at with these, not the health restore. So bread's kind of crappy for that. I think I'm just going to get rid of all my sausages and all my breads. I feel like four cans is going to last me forever. Or at least until I kill something, you know. I'll keep the vodka because we need it for the dude. Actually, uh... Let's put the vodka here. I could probably stash like a little bit of this, maybe. How much do these weigh? Okay. I don't. Wait. I don't understand why the weight is going up and down. I really don't understand this game sometimes. Okay, we well, we got some more money. Let's upgrade our shoddy. <laughs> Take recoil, reliability, more reliability. Uh, I guess I'll take... Eh, I'm not going to take that, actually. I'm going to wait for... Uh, probably accuracy, maybe. I don't remember this thing having a ton of recoil, really. I'd love a laser sight. Um, is there anything else? I guess I'll... Um... <laughs> oh, I can get these. Weight down. I'd love to get that. I'm a little poor right now. I'll get this. It's only 450. So... Uh, I feel like we're at a good stopping point, like, we kind of did a lot, 
and I need a P, so it's kind of a natural stopping point. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one where we're gonna go grab our bodysuit and then do some quests.